Hello students, let's have our online social studies class. So, we already completed the chapters for our first term examination and I already gave you the, all the question answers on this on the those chapters. Uh, hope you all are preparing for your coming examination and today I will revise the chapter 9 India location and extent. Okay? You know, India is our country, we are proud Indian and India is the second largest country in Asia. Asia, the largest continent and India is the second largest country in that continent, Asia. And it is the seventh largest country in the world. It is one of the oldest civilizations in the world, you know. And our India has a rich cultural and religious heritage. It has made remarkable progress in recent years and is a good example of unity and diversity. Always remember, our India has a unity in diversity. There is a diversity in physical features as there are different types of physical features in our country. Climate, different type of climates are there. There is a climate, basically our India is a, a tropical type of climate. But there are different type of climates uh, as uh, southern uh, part of India, northern part of India, eastern and western part of India. There are different types of climate, climatic characteristics actually. And vegetation types are also varies for that climatic difference. And the ways of living of the people uh, as the climate and vegetation is different in different parts of India. So, the uh, living of the people also vary from place to place. But despite such diversity, a common thread of unity binds us all the Indian citizens together. Firstly, location and size. The mainland of India extends between latitudes 8 degree 4 minute north. This sign always remember this is degree and this is minute this is the fraction of degree 4 minute means fraction of degree ok fraction of 1 degree actually so our India extends between latitudes 8 degree 4 minute north and 3 sub 37 degree 6 minute north as our India lies in northern hemisphere always remember that our india lies in northern hemisphere north of the equator and longitude extent is 68 degree 7 minute east and 97 degree 25 minute east it lies in the northern and eastern hemisphere as you know that our uh, the longitudinal extent of India is 68 degree 7 minute is to 97 degree 25 minute is uh, that means uh, our India located in eastern hemisphere ok. The tropic of cancer passes through the middle of the country. Tropic of cancer that is 23 and half degree north. It passes through the middle of the country. Apart from the mainland, the Andaman and Nicobar Islands in the Indian Ocean and the Lakshadweep Islands in the Arabian Sea are also parts of India. The Tropic of Cancer almost divides our country India into two parts. Northern part of Tropic of Cancer is called as Northern India and the Southern uh, part of Tropic of Cancer is known as Deccan and Peninsular India. In the north, northern part of our country, our India is bounded by the Himalayas. Towards the east is the uh, Bay of Bengal. 
towards the west is the Arabian Sea and in the south is the Indian Ocean. The Indian landmass has a central location between east and west ish. It is a southward extension of the Asian continent. Always remember that our India is a southward extension of the Asian continent. The Trans-Indian Ocean routes which connect the countries of Europe in the west and in the countries of East Asia provide a strategic central location to India. India's strategic location helps it to establish close contacts with West Asia, Africa and Europe from the western coast. And with South East and East Asia from the eastern coast. The latitudinal and longitudinal extent of India's mainland is about 30 degree. From Gujarat to Arunachal Pradesh, there is a time lag of 2 hours. As the long longitudinal extent of India is about 30 degree from Gujarat to Arunachal Pradesh, there is a time lag of 2 hours. As longitude always represent the time difference. However, time along the standard meridian of India 82.30 degrees passing through Mirzapur in Uttar Pradesh is taken as the Indian standard time for the whole country. So, remember that the standard meridian of India 82.30 degrees which passing through Mirzapur in Uttar Pradesh is taken as the Indian standard time for the whole country. This brings harmony and uniformity of time throughout the country. The landmass of India has an area of about 3.28 million square kilometers. Its total area comprises about 2.4 degree, so 2. Point, sorry, 2.4 percent of the total geographical area of the world. The north-south extent of India is about 3,200 kilometer, stretching from the Himalayas in the north to the Kanyakumari in the south. The east-west extent of the country is about 3000 km. The land boundary of India is 15000 km. And the coastlines of the country is 7516 km, which includes the Andaman and Nicobar and Lakshadweep Islands. And you know, India has the longest coastline of, on the Indian Ocean. Now about the political division of India. You know, India is officially known as the Republic of India and is comprised of a total of 29 states. In India, there are 29 states and seven union territories. So, in our, our country, India, there are 29 states and seven union territories. And our India is the second most populated country in the world. It is after China. Second most populated country and the first and the most populated country in our world is China and seventh largest in terms of area. Broadly, India is divided into six major zones East India, West India, North India, South India, Northeast India, and Central India. In this way, the states are divided. In Eastern India, 
it includes the states of Bihar, Jharkhand, Odisha, West Bengal and the Union Territory of Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The western region of India covers the popular states of Gujarat, Goa and Maharashtra with the Union Territories of Damun and Diu and Dadra and Nagur Haveli. North India covers the states of Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan and the Union Territories of Delhi. And uh, uh, Delhi is known as the National Capital Territory too. Union Territories of Delhi is also called as National Capital Territory. And in North India, they are included Chandigarh too. In southern India, uh, uh, southern India covers the states like Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Kerala, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana and the Union Territories of Lakshadweep and Puducherry. And North East India includes the seven sister states of that part. There are seven states in our Northeast India and these seven states are known as seven sister states and these states are Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Meghalaya, Tripura, Mizoram, Manipur and Nagaland. The Himalayan states of Sikkim and Jalpaiguri division are two important parts of Northeast India. The central zone of India basically refers to Madhya Pradesh and the newly formed states of Chhattisgarh. Okay, so you can see here the political division. The political division of India, it is its political map of India and here the, you can see here Jammu and Kashmir. Himachal Pradesh, Punjab, next Uttarakhand here, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Orisha, Madhya Pradesh, here Rajasthan, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Kerala and here the seven sisters state, states, seven sisters states, is the northeastern part of India, Arunachal Pradesh here, it is Assam, this is Meghalaya, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram and Tripura. Clear? And I am telling you ag again and again, always I tell you that thing that whenever, whenever you read the regional chapters as uh, the descriptions of any country or any region, you have to consult with maps. And then you read, if you read with uh, whenever you read if you consult maps then you can memorize the chapter very easily so always remember that and try to read in this way okay and here you can see the delhi national Cap capital territory this is delhi okay and here Andaman Nicobar Islands and Lakshadweep Island. You can see in this picture, in this map, here Nepal, neighboring country of our India, Nepal, China. In northern India, Nepal, Bhutan, China. 
in a uh, western uh, north western part of india pakistan afghanistan neighboring country and in eastern india an eastern part of india this is bangladesh and myanmar and in south sri lanka and maldives so i hope whenever you study the chap this chapter please look at the map and then read the chapter okay so this much for today i'll tell you the next part of this chapter in my next class till then bye to all of you